Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today's video is on our visit to Fujairah. This video will give you an idea of the things to do in Fujairah and the places to visit. First we came to the Fujairah church. The church has timings. We had reached there by afternoon and then it was closed. It was reopening in the evening. So our next stop was Fujairah Fort. Dating back to the 16th century, Fujairah Fort is among the oldest as well as the largest castles in the country. We are now entering the Fujairah Fort. There is no entrance fee to visit this fort. It's free of charge. As per their website, their timing shows 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you plan to visit them, then do give them a call and check with them on the timings and the website mentions Friday closed. So give them a call before you visit. We had been there around afternoon so it was open by then. So this is the Fujera Fort. Fujera Fort is among the main tourist attractions in the city. It is one of the most renowned and the largest forts of its kind in the UAE. Owing to the pivotal role it played in safeguarding the region throughout history, constructed in the 16th century, the fort comprises three circular and one rectangular tower elevated at a height of nearly 20 meters above sea level, making it a captivating landmark on the city's skyline. So this is the area surrounding the fort. This is the restroom facility. The best part is you can park right in front of the fort. There's a parking facility there. This is the entrance of the fort. At the entrance, you get to see two field guns. These guns were suitable for use on a battlefield. Here's a beautiful view of the Fujairah city. We have entered inside the fort. This is called Ward Holder Weapon. The Fujera Fort is guarded by three round watchtowers and a square watchtower. The watchtowers and the main building are connected by walls and there is a central hall surrounded by these towers and wall. This area we are entering is the date processing area. This is an area with special channels carved into its floor all flowing towards a hole into which would run modabas or date syrup. Sacks of dates would be piled up and left to ferment and this would produce the juice. Next to it is the prison where prisoners would be lowered into the ditch. It is believed to have stopped being a prison in the early 1900s as per the saved testimonials of the guards who once worked here. The fort is made of rocks, mortar, mud and plaster and is supported by mangrove poles. Its roof is made of palm fronts and trunks. Thank you. 
I've climbed to the terrace of the fort and you get to see a beautiful view here. The fort covers an area of 610 square meters and features circular watchtowers, one each facing the sea, the town and the mountains and one main square shaped tower known as the Muraba. This is the narrow opening of the stairs you need to climb in order to reach the terrace. If you want to see and experience something new, then this fort would be a good idea to visit. You get to see as to how things were in the olden times. These rectangular holes you get to see on the walls are the shooting holes. The Fujera fort was occupied for two years by the Wahhabis that is from 1808 to 1810. They took possession of the fort as well as others along the eastern coast until the local tribes won it back. The date of construction of this fort was around 1500 to 1550. It was then renovated during the 1650 to 1700. The British Navy destroyed one of the fort's towers in 1925 as it moved into the country and took up positions along the coast. The fort was restored by the Fujera Administration of Antiquity and Heritage during the 1997 to 2000 using the same materials with which it was built. This is the entrance area of the fort. This is the area surrounding the fort. The Fujera fort is a part of a complex with several old houses and a mosque. Thank you.
Like most other such buildings, Fujairah's fort was constructed around a well. Though the well went dry a long time ago, the courtyard was used for special events such as weddings or public executions. The irregular shape of the castle is due to the uneven surface of the rock it sits on. So this was all about the Fujera fort. It was a beautiful experience where we got to see how things were in the history and we loved our visit there. Then we proceeded towards Fujera Mall. The Emirate of Fujera is one of the seven emirates that make up the United Arab Emirates. Fujera city is the capital of the Emirate of Fujera. It is the seventh largest city in the UAE, located on the Gulf of Oman. It is the only Emirati capital city on the UAE's east coast. This is Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Fujera, the second largest mosque in the UAE. The first one is Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi. The mosque opened in 2015 and is located on Mohammed bin Matar Road in central Fujera city. Fujera plays the ideal base for the exploration of the rocky Hajar mountains. You get to see the beautiful view of the mountains when you visit Fujera. We have reached Fujera Mall. We have come to the food court area of the Fujera Mall. There's a play area also nearby, so showing you all around. There is a play area fun block in Fujera Mall. You need to buy a card like this and load it and then you need to swipe to play games. The validity of this card is 6 months. I mean to say if you have balance left, the validity will be 6 months. And uh, as per the staff there, they told us we need to use it at the same branch. Giving you a glimpse of the different games available there. So this was all about our visit to Fujera. Hope you liked watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you, take care and see you in my next video.